Hi everyone. This is just a quick video to show you how to run the automated test inside of GitHub. These are the tests that I've written to verify that your labs or projects are 100% correct. Now it's important to understand that GitHub limits the number of compute minutes our class gets as a whole. So it's important that you're really confident these tests will pass before you run them. We don't want to run out of minutes. And so that means writing your own tests, making sure that those tests are very thorough and that they pass before coming here to run my tests. But when you are ready to run my tests and you've committed your code, then you come to the GitHub web page for your particular assignments repository, like I've done here, and then come over to the Actions tab. It's in the middle here. And what you'll see is, on the left, a list of workflows. And typically, the all workflows will be highlighted when you get to this page. And what you want to do is you want to click on the line below that says GitHub Workflow. Notice that when you do that, you'll get this light blue banner in the center with the Run Workflow drop-down menu to the right. So I open that drop-down menu, and then I will click Run Workflow. Notice you can choose which branch you want to run the workflow on. I suspect most of you will be working off of master. So you'll just come down and click on Run Workflow. Within 10 or 15 seconds, you should see that your workflow will pop up with this yellow dot here saying that the tests are in progress. And now you just have to wait for the test to finish running. And that could take anywhere from a few seconds to a few minutes, depending on the assignment you're running. And when the workflow finishes, you will either see a red X, meaning you've got a test failure somewhere, or a green check. Hopefully you get the green check. If you get the red X, that means that your tests are incomplete. If all of your tests are passing, but GitHub tells you that my tests are failing, then you've missed a test somewhere, and you want to go back to your test to try to figure out what that is. And I'm happy to help you do that. Um, learning how to test is something that takes a long time and a lot of practice. And so I don't mind at all looking over your tests with you and giving you some pointers. That's part of how you learn how to test well. So what you'll do is you'll get some help. You'll, you'll write those missing tests, get those tests to pass, and repeat the process. And of course, if you run into anything strange or have any trouble, just stop by my office and ask.